Hey y'all, it's Jess. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so some updates. I'm going to be kind of shifting our focus on this YouTube channel to make it more of a dialogue between us and I'm going to be talking about things directly correlated to questions and messages that people have sent me because the more I become somewhat of what someone has called uh, me as an autistic community mentor, um, kind of stepping into that role to directly talk to you guys about things that you've been wondering. Um, and so our first video today t in that kind of uh, shift is about masking. So our first question comes in from a message that I received on Instagram. Um, I haven't talked to this person about um, whether or not they want to remain anonymous or not, so I'm just going to um, keep them anonymous. Um, I've noticed a lot more things about myself that relate to autism lately. I stim a lot more, and a few minutes ago I was repeating things to myself. I get caught up in my routine more. I have sensory issues more frequently. I'm not sure if I'm just noticing things more now that I view myself as a person with autism and just masking less, or if I'm actually doing it more. Um, I don't want to be faking anything, but at the same time, I think about autism frequently, so I wonder if thinking about it makes me subconsciously do things more. Um, I guess my question is, can autism become more noticeable with age? The answer is yes. As soon as you find out what autism is and you begin relating to the diagnostic criteria and uh, other people who have similar life experience as you, then you'll start to notice and be able to pinpoint and identify these things in your life, in your personality traits that correlate with autism. And so they might seem more enhanced and like you're doing it more. But that's simply because you're able to identify it. Because you're seeing autistic criteria as normal behaviors for a person with autism, you then see that you are not abnormal. You are behaving normally for someone with your neurotype. And so the more that you accept yourself, the more that you will be open to seeing where these kind of things present in your life. And so when you begin to accept yourself because you realize that you are autistic and you have these kind of behaviors, then it's a good thing to embrace that. So even if it feels like you are faking it or just doing it more because you think you're autistic or whatever, really you're just relearning how you behave naturally and how you embrace who you really are. The act of embracing your natural tendencies as an autistic person is unmasking and so it does have a lot to do with realizing that you've stifled a lot of these traits or these behaviors uh, a long time ago when you were a child, when you were bullied, anything like that. And now that you're more accepting of yourself, then you can kind of start bringing back in those behaviors and those traits and embracing who you really are. And so when you begin to unmask, you start to feel this kind of um, joy, I guess, because you're finally allowing yourself to express who you are without being shamed for it. And so when you begin unmasking, it is a big change because you're suddenly going into all these things that you had suppressed earlier in life. And so because you suppress them, you kind of maybe might have some bad memories attached to it, might have some confusion attached to it. And so it's normal to feel um, insecure about whether or not you're doing it authentically or faking it. But as long as you are behaving the way you feel comfortable and you're embracing these traits without bias against yourself. That is a good thing. Um, I never used to flap my hands when I was younger and when I found out I was autistic I was like oh maybe that like that that helps. I do this all the time now. It's not because I fake it. I, I never had any like idea of, that I could even do this and that this was an option for me to just like sit and do whatever I wanted. Now that I've realized, okay, autistic people function best and have 
their greatest emotional health when they embrace stimming, when they unmask, and when they accept that these kind of behaviors are okay for them. So I, I feel good when I go like this and stim like this. Another reason that you might be doing that is because you recognize these problematic um, ways that you have suppressed your autism and now with your ability to express it more and be okay with that, then you're obviously going to find better alternatives of ways to express that, which is healthy. You kind of do, uh, as you say, um, autism get no more noticeable with age. Um, some things that I've noticed is that the more that you grow, the more you become aware of what works for you and what doesn't work for you. If you get late diagnosed or you are self-diagnosed after you have already um, gone through childhood and adolescence, and so because you change a lot normally growing up anyways, then suddenly getting hit with, oh my gosh, I think I've had this neurology and I never realized it before, obviously that's going to bring about a lot of change. And that's a good thing. Even though your personality has been determined by your parents and your genetics and the way that you have been reacting to life up until this point, you still have control over who you are. You still have control over what you do, what you decide to implement into your life, and what you decide to take out of your life. If you decide that you feel best when you are stimming, when you are being open about being autis autistic, <laughs> when you decide that it is in your best interest to be behaving in this way, then that's who you are. You don't have to just say, well, I don't naturally flap my hands, so that's not me, so I shouldn't do it. I never naturally flapped, and now I do because I just decided this feels nice, and I'm autistic, so that means that obviously it should feel nice because so many other autistics have realized, oh, this feels nice. So if I try it and I like it and it feels nice, then that's part of my life now. When you are pursuing learning who you are, how you best work, and how you can remain healthy and happy in your life, then that's a good thing. So I hope that this has cleared up some things for anyone who's been wondering. If this has helped you, then you guys can always message me questions, re uh, requests for videos, anything like that that you want to hear about, and I will make videos about it. So I hope you guys have a good week. I'll see you next Monday. Bye.